So for us it was of course a, a fantastic opportunity that we had the chance to come back um, and revisit the original scheme and add to it. I mean that's very rare. Typically architects cannot work on the extension so that was for us uh, of course uh, fantastic and we kind of already thought about that in the very beginning when we visited the uh, power station for the very first time. We always were fascinated um, by the tanks, by the tanks, and uh, we knew that the next step would be to use the tanks, to activate the tanks, and to develop the project out of these tanks, so to say. Like what the turbine hall is for the original tape, will be the tanks for the extension, for the switch house extension. And um, we're very glad that basically this worked out in many ways. You know, the tanks form literally the foundation for the extension, but also curatorial and, um, and content rise, um, they inspire the entire uh, extension. So the tanks are dedicated to performance, installation, and um, uh, basically to art, where art is alive, you know, or became active, as they say. And, uh, and that basically is true for the rest of the building as well. And we like that a lot. You know? So for us, um, that makes a good museum that we could um, basically continue what we have started with the Tate Modern to establish a truly public building, that we could continue this idea of creating a civic space, a public space, a very lively place where the people can engage in very, very uh, different uh, ways with the art. You know, whereas in the original building it was more about horizontal circulation, this is about vertical circulation, but rather than concentrating it in one point, it's a path, almost like an internal street, winding through the entire building, connecting all the different um, uh, program functions and also views, and really making it feel almost like an interior street, with little squares, little plazas, little coffee spots, little niches to sh uh, show movies or film or installation. I mean, the whole place becomes very active in the life and I think that was absolutely fundamental for us that we could continue what we have established with the first head modern that that would be continued and even um, emphasized or brought to the next level in the extension. Yeah, now that the building is open, we're very happy uh, with it because it does exactly um, what we envisioned. You know, um, it is a civic space. It's a very active space. It's a lively place, and it's a place I think where people feel comfortable. Also, that's also very important. You know, like for example, this concourse area, as we call it, is naturally ventilated, yeah? and um, you feel a little bit the breeze. You know, there's a different air. It's not hermetically closed. Um, that all, uh, these all are aspects which are very important for the success of the architecture. You can sit on the architecture, you, you can sit on the concrete beams, you can sit on the bench. You have many different ways of engage with the building. We offer a vari variety of different scales also, small, intimate niches, uh, places uh, to very grand, open and large spaces. And I think this diversity of scale is very important for the visitors and for the curators and for the artists because it's very human. And that's ultimately what we want, you know, a build, build a building for the humans, for the people of London, for the artists, for the curators, for the community. And uh, I think we succeeded and this is uh, what makes us very happy.